Welcome everybody. This is our first official help video for our online session and hopefully it is one of the most helpful because it's going to help you get your Revit 2020 software installed. Installing your, uh, your Revit 2020 software should be really easy, uh, but uh, if it's not, um, I don't want you to get stuck really. So um, the first thing I wanna say, and uh, I don't think you Mac users out there will likely wanna hear this very much, but uh, you know, I don't actually even think Revit 2020 has a Mac version. I believe they're only offering a PC version right now. Uh, but installing Revit is really going to be probably a lot easier on a PC for now. If you have a Mac, you're likely going to have to install Windows on it to get the software to work. Uh, so just be aware of that. Um, I don't really care what kind of computer you want to use, but for what we do here, it's just going to be likely a lot easier for you to use a PC. Okay. So to get your Revit 2020 install started, uh, and let me just say this, I'm going to get you going, but I'm not going to go through every uh, step on the install. I'm just going to show you where to go, how to get the install going, uh, and sort of leave it at that because it will take, you know, maybe a half hour or so for it to get going. Okay. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Google here and really you're just uh, going to search for free student download Revit. Okay. And this first link that pops up here, I'm going to click on that. And I am brought to the Autodesk website. Okay. So um, because I already have a username and password, I'm logged in here. Um, and I actually do think that if you don't have a username and password, you will be brought to this screen. Okay. Uh, but I do want to say that you're going to have to create a login for Autodesk and it's a good idea to use your educational, uh, email, um, because this is an educational license. And if there's any ever, any ever, <laughs> excuse me, ever any question about whether you're a student or not still, uh, if you have an active .edu email, then they should know that you're a student, okay? So here is the Autodesk website. You can see that we have our Revit software here pulled up. Uh, you're going to create a username and password if you haven't already, and you're going to sign in, okay? I'm gonna just sign out here real quick. So that you can see what it will look like you know it says i have an account sign in or i need an account create account create an account and it's important to create an account and um, one other thing i want to say about this is that when you do start downloading this software they're going to email you a, uh, a serial number and an activation code for your software so the email that you use to sign up that's where they're going to email your information okay so i'm going to choose i have an account sign in and it's gonna bring up my username, and I'm gonna, you know, I have my password memorized here, so I'm just gonna sign in. And I'm brought back to uh, this Revit software page here. So uh, I'm going to choose the version, which is 2020 for now. Uh, operating system, we have Windows 64 bit. As you can see, they're not even offering a piece or a, a Mac version uh, of this software, so. You're going to have to, if you do use a Mac, uh, you're going to have to install Windows on it. And then whatever language you want this to be in. Oops. Okay. So once you do that, you're gonna get a serial number, a product key, a file, and I'm not really going to install this, so I'm just gonna cancel it out and my serial number won't be valid. Uh, but essentially, you now have the ability to install, okay? And you can choose to install now, and that will be a web-based install, so it's gonna be installed via the internet. So if I just click on this, install now, I can hit accept and I can install. I'm gonna hit cancel to undo this. If that doesn't work for you, and to be honest, a lot of times a web install doesn't work for me, a secondary way of installing the software is to download it onto your, your computer first and then install from your computer, okay? So you can try the install now, but if that doesn't work, download now, and uh, Autodesk will install a little kind of um, manager on your, on your PC here, right? So I get my download going, I click on it, and I get a little software thing hopefully popping up here. Should take just a couple seconds here. And what this does is it downloads the program to your PC so that you're not relying on the internet and that stability to install the software, okay? 
Um, so this looks like it's downloading. And I'm going to hit agree and I'm going to install this here. Okay. And it's installing the, the download manager actually right now, not the actual software. So hopefully this doesn't take too long. So this is what the little Autodesk download manager looks like. I'm going to hit OK and it is going to download the software. Okay. Once this has download, it will give you the option to install. All right. And really, um, installing Revit should be as easy as that. And they say should a lot when, you know, we're talking about technology, but it should be as easy as that. Uh, really kind of the biggest stumbling blocks I see with students trying to install software is, you know, maybe number one, they have a Mac and it's difficult, right? Uh, number two, they don't have a computer that can handle it, right? Uh, so if you don't have a computer that can handle it within our uh, orientation lecture, I've, I've uh, linked in all of the computer requirements that you, you need here, okay? So I'm going to, it looks like I have a long time here, um, so I'm just going to let this do its thing. And I, I want to say one other thing here um, while we are, let's see, while we are on the topic of, of downloading software here, this uh, educational license is a three-year license. So as long as you're a student for three years, you can use this um, as much as you want. The other thing I wanted to say is that uh, you also have access to all of Autodesk's free software while you're a student, okay? And actually, I don't, yes, I did want to go there. So if you're taking AutoCAD, this would probably be a good time to also install that software, okay? So you can get Revit. We can also get AutoCAD um, under this uh, Autodesk website, okay? So you could do that as well, right? Of course, we have AutoCAD 2020, and you could in install that and sort of be ahead of the curve if you are taking AutoCAD now currently or if you are planning on taking it in the future, okay? So with that, uh, I'm going to stop the video here and hopefully that gets you far enough uh, installing the software that you don't have any issues. If you have any questions, please send me an email, let me know. And also know that Jameson Bodden, uh, he is our lab coordinator. He can also answer questions for you on this topic, okay? He's located in our, our building, which is the technology building at Redwood Campus. So if you have any questions installing the software, then he's available to help you out, okay? So hopefully this is helpful. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions uh, and good luck.